How you doing? Mike Perry. I'm out here scouting today. It's October 6th, Pennsylvania. I have not yet hunted. I've taken my kids out a couple times, but uh, I'm out here scouting some private land that I got permission. Just asked the people and you know, there's other guys hunting here. There's a couple trail cameras in here that I've seen over closer to the food. But I found something pretty interesting that uh, is uh, making me pretty hopeful. There's a couple of big bucks in here that I'm getting pictures of in the summertime. And uh, I've gotten pictures of them in the morning quite a few times down to the south coming off of the food and um going past my cameras and a lot of times you know while it's still daylight seven o'clock in the morning seven ten something like that and they're heading this direction so i, I went to the north and i followed the trail and the reason why I, i'm uh i think this is really neat is because i've spent a lot of time over the years um either scouting deer in the snow because we get a ton of snow around here or uh tracking bucks in the snow during rifle season and I've noticed that, you know, a lot of times deer will uh, uh, bed, uh, you know, they'll, they'll walk past an area and then they'll, they'll circle around. Some people call it J-hook um, and they, and they, and they'll watch their, you know, like their side trail. In other words, um, say they walk a straight line and then they curve up around and then they, they bed up above and then they watch down so um, they can see anything that would be trailing them. And, uh, you know, you never really find, it's hard to find stuff like that when there's leaves on the ground and, and it's not snow. Uh, I've noted this in the snow, and I definitely don't believe that every buck jay hooks or every deer jay hooks into a bed. I, I think that that's being blown out of proportion nowadays, but it definitely does happen. I've seen it happen in the snow many times. But what's cool is this trail here, um, let's see if I can turn this thing around. Well, maybe not. This trail here... The bucks are coming from this area. They're coming from the south and heading to the north. And you can see how this trail curves and heads right to the south, southeast. Okay, there's another big trail that comes through right here. It's doing the same thing. And they, and they come and they meet right up here. And I know that these bucks bed somewhere close to here. So when I was snooping around earlier and I walked up, I came from this direction, there was a bunch of beds up in here. Now there wasn't rubs in any of them, but there are rubs right, right in this location here. And this trail, as you can see, it, it's like a horseshoe. It comes down from the south to the north, turns, goes west to east in this circle right here, and then heads straight back to the south. And it's going to go right up through here. There's a little bit of a drainage here. And you can see the trail. And it snakes through this low area. And it goes right up into this really thick crap. That is where I found the beds inside of this stuff. Whatever it is, I don't know. What, I, should, I should know what this is, but I don't. And uh, so the neat thing is, is the camera's down here. And they come down through here, through the more kind of open stuff. And then they circle that trail that I just walked up there and come right back over here in bed. So they're basically um, walking like a horseshoe almost to get to their bed. So the nice thing about that is right where that curve in that horseshoe is, 
Last year, I marked on my on my maps that uh, there was a primary a bunch of primary scrapes here. Now they're the scrapes aren't kicked open, but it looks like something's been under the licking branches that are a little chewed on. So I'm thinking that right where that curve is, that's where I set up and hopefully catch one of these bucks walking back early in the season. Um, if not, I'll hunt that scrape. 